Well, now I hope everyone can uh, see and hear both the audio and the video. Um, wow, it's quite a technical feat to get this uh, video up uh, so you can see it. And uh, take some time and pray. And, uh, and experience this together. You can see that this, the, the eclipse is uh, really beginning to darken the sky. And behind me, you can see that um, it's still light out. But I really want to take time to pray and intercede. That is why I'm here, uh, to share this moment with you and to uh, just express how uh, the solar eclipse is a sign in the heavenlies. It is the Jewish New Year. And this is an opportunity for America to turn to the living God. The path of totality goes through um, seven different cities that are named Nineveh. So we are experiencing a Nineveh moment and the people of Nineveh cried out in repentance and God spared their, um, uh, their, their city. And so we're praying that God will spare this nation. And you can see the crescent right beside me here just beginning to uh, completely obscure the sun. Uh, the path of totality moves up from the southwest to the northeast and there was a previous um, uh, eclipse that uh, went the opposite direction forming a cross and I'm at the epicenter of that cross right now. It's actually uh, Carbondale, Illinois and I am here watching the sun beginning to dim I'm using these glasses to see just how much the sun is obscuring it, but I'm using something on my camera to do exactly the same thing so that you can see that as I am standing here. But I would like to play my harp and to intercede for this nation. God of Israel, won't you come? Reveal your son. And during this sign of the eclipse, let your hand of mercy be upon this land. Oh, like Nineveh, they turn their hearts to the living God. I speak to you now, America. Turn your hearts to the living God. Turn your hearts to the living God. Well, I'm excited to be able to share this moment. It's beginning to dim behind me, and I can see the sliver of the sun just coming into view now. And I just invite you to pray along with me. I'm just going to play my harp, and as I play my harp, I'm just trusting that you will experience this amazing moment along with me. And when the crescent of the moon um, obscuring the sun gets to this small, small point, which look, it's about to do that right now, I'm going to take the lens cap, uh, uh, the filter off my camera and see if I can capture some of this amazing uh, moment in history here in Carbondale, Illinois. But why don't we just pray and just seek the Lord.
Isn't that amazing? heaven, even as the sun is being obscured, Lord God, we ask that your glory would fall upon this earth in, in the name of Yeshua Messiah. Lord, let your light shine upon this nation. And I also pray for the nation of Canada, Lord God, that as the eclipse moves across that path, Lord, it will be like your hand is moving across the nation, Lord God, just making it uh, clear that there's a living God that needs to be followed sin to be left behind and uh, a life to be surrendered to the living God. Father, I pray for North America, Lord, that uh, your light would shine upon this nation, Lord God. Canada, the United States, even Mexico, Lord God. Let your hand of mercy be upon the land. In Yeshua's name. Amen, Lord. Light is beginning to dim here. I'm so glad to be able to share this with you. I can see it just going into a sliver. We can almost look at the sun without any protection, but we're just going to wait for that moment where the sun is completely obscured. And I pray that the, the heart of the living God will not be obscured from your heart and that you will uh, fully uh, trust in Him. Let's just watch this beautiful moment. in you Lord we trust in you
lights just turned on here in, our, in the parking lot that I've been broadcasting from. And the sun is just about totally obscured. I'm going to take the filter off my camera so that you can perhaps see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Woo! It's on. Wow. Woo! I want to get a couple picks, so. Wow, that is amazing. Jesus, you are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the prominence on the side there. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot more light here than I thought there would be. Yeah, because you can see the stars. And... Yeah. I am. What I'm seeing here is absolutely amazing. I'm. Uh, my camera just cannot uh, capture the brilliance of what we're seeing. The sun is completely obscured by the moon. And I even see on the outside edge, orange flashes of the prominences that jump off of the surface of the sun. And all around me, it looks like twilight. And uh, the camera on my computer is not doing justice to the beauty. Imagine all the way 360 degrees all the way around me. It is absolutely gorgeous. And it is an experience that uh, only, only comes maybe once in a lifetime for most people. Well, God of heaven, I worship you, Lord. And I, I extol you for your majesty. The heavens declare your glory, Lord God. And as we stand here in the light of this eclipse, we uh, are just so gl gloriously reminded of your power and your majesty. And so, uh, Lord, uh, Bless the people as they are watching this. I just ask you, Father, that there would be a great sense of awe and wonder. Uh, and I'm glad to share this moment with my friends and just show them that this eclipse is taking place in real time right now. We actually are in a, in a place where it's gonna last for about four minutes. And so it's glorious to be able to be here and watch this take place. Wow, there are gold, or, orange prominences that are flashing off of the sun right now. I'm sure that if you go to the NASA feed that you will be able to see um, they, the, these, the great beauty here in a much better detail. Um, but at least what you're seeing on the screen right there is the real uh, solar eclipse taking place right at this moment. I can see, I can see the planet, uh, actually it's Venus. Normally you can't see it at this time of day uh, because it's blocked out or on the wrong side of the sun. Uh, and you know, this scripture talks about the bright and morning star. And so it's not a star actually, it's a planet. And it reminds us of the brightness and the beauty of our Messiah. And so uh, very soon what's gonna happen is the, uh, the shadow is gonna move to the other side of the oh, eclipse, it here it comes, there it comes. There it is. Wow. Woo! <laughs> glasses. Where are the glasses? Oh. Well, I have to put the filter back on. I don't know if we'll be able, oh, see it's, it's appearing on the other side now. Gee, that's amazing that you can actually see that part of the eclipse as well. Now it's, it's getting so bright, you actually can't look at it again and so we're, uh, just going back, the, the street lights have turned back off 
Uh, what an amazing moment. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this as I was sharing with you. I'm going to actually just let it play uh, a little bit longer so you can continue to see it. Notice how it's, it's, it's coming through. Yeah. That, that is a really great way of watching it, you know? Yeah! Yeah, and, and I noticed the wind just went dead. Yeah. When, uh... So I'm having to use these uh, glasses now. Um, the, the brightness of the sun is already strong enough that I need to see it. And you can see that it's only just the sliver uh, uh, that is causing the, the light to come through. And so, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to play my harp for a little bit longer. That was amazing to see. I That was amazing. Was your, uh, it's still running. It's yeah. still running. So was your uh, was your uh, camera like taking individual shots? No, it's video, live video. It's still it's still working right now. Yeah, it's amazing. The birds are beginning to sing again. It's, it is an amazing uh, experience. God bless you, my friends. What an amazing thing to be able to share on a Facebook Live. Uh, God bless you. And uh, I'm gonna say uh, farewell for now and uh, keep looking up. <laughs>